Well, welcome back, you guys. And I would like to introduce Chuck from the Silver Grand Jury, Tulare County. Chuck, how Richard? are you doing? Great. Well, thank you so much, Chuck, for coming on to our show. So I understand you guys are looking for 19 volunteers? Yeah, we're on the hunt for people right now. Uh-oh, we're on a hunt. Yeah, we started that 1st of February is our recruiting time. Okay. And we're looking hard for people right now that will serve on our grand jury, which is one year term. It's not like what other people think jury is. Right, Most right. People think it's the jury that sits up there, sees a criminal down there, and get call it that day and go home that night. Right, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. I was like, man, I've been trying to dodgeball those things all the yeah. time. I get it in the mail. <laughs> so explain well, to us, Chuck, what it is. I guarantee you, if you get on the grand jury, mm -hmm. you'll never get called for the red jury again. Oh, really? Yeah, eliminate takes you off the list because you serve a whole year straight. That's one of the main things why. Oh. And, this is, and okay. you usually work three to four hours a day. Okay. Three days a week, sometimes four. all depends on top of year. It can get really busy like we are right now. Right. And it, it's not like what people think a jury does. I like me, I call this the baby CIA. Okay. Because, I mean, we're... We can't tell you nothing about the investigations we're doing or anything. Everybody think we don't exist half the time. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get complaints in the mail okay. about the government. And what we do, we'll go out and, and we'll investigate each complaint that we got. Oh, wow. and, and let me tell you, some of, the, some of them are good Lulus. I bet. And once we go out there and we separate the fact from the fiction on it. Right. And some of them are pretty big. In fact, we just had one uh, mainliner today that took front page of our paper in Visalia. Oh. Yeah, I mean, front page. That's hard to get for a grand jury to get one like that for some Right. Reason. But it's a pretty good, it took us a year and a half investigation on that one. Uh-huh. But <clears throat> we got raises this year. We used to pay $15 a day to work, so like okay. a regular jury did. Oh, wow. But we went and fought them this year about it, and we're getting $25 now. So twenty five, you get paid to yep. be on the grand jury. Right, twenty five dollars a day. Wow. And fifty seven cents a mile. Wow, that really adds up. It does quick. I mean, yes. You got somebody living, say Porterville, coming in, their check will run them twelve hundred dollars a month, easy. Wow. So those of you that are at home and not have anything to do, you're well, not working right. and. Coming, you know. So how how does the application work, Chuck? How does that work? The easiest part is that all you got to do is call you got two different numbers the courthouse you can call down there which is like five five nine seven three oh five zero 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 okay that's at the courthouse okay and you get down there it's on the third floor ask where the jury's at no fix you up real easy oh i'm sure you'll see posters here and there saying i want you i want you like Uncle Just Sam like Uncle did. Sam, I want yeah. you, right? And the uh, one I like everybody to call to, this is at our place where we meet at, is 559-624-7295. And okay. that's at our office where we all meet. Okay. And there's 19 of us that meet there, and we have one foreman. Okay. And I'm the foreman this year. Oh, wonderful. Now, they say you get big bucks being a foreman. Uh, nah. <laughs> you get a lot more hours. Uh, you know, everybody else gets paid decently for right, a form, and right. you don't. I go wow. in at 8 o'clock, might not get out till 6 that night, and i got to be there five days a week. Wow. So what are the requirements of someone out that's listening and want to participate? Uh, that one, another easy one. 18 years, if you're 18 years old, okay. have no felons, okay. speak English, and there's one more... Well, uh, be intelligent. Be say. <laughs> that but, would help, right? Yeah, but we say if you shake your head and you hear the marbles hit, you're on. You're on. <laughs> yeah. We can use it? you. <laughs> you gotta, you, you got to use the computer a lot. We used to do everything by hand, but the last So you have to have years, some computer knowledge yeah. then. Okay. If you can do email, you'll still qualify. There you go. Well, that sounds pretty easy. It is. It's, it's easier than what people think. It's when Once you get in doing it, working on the grand jury, okay. I can guarantee you, you want to come back. Everybody oh. I know that's 
came on there that we have a rollover, we call it. Okay. We're allowed to keep so many people there for one more year. Oh. So that's the way we at least get them So you can't trained. make this a career. <laughs> right. Well, hey, some people do, let me tell you. Because <laughs> you can serve two years, be off one, and go back and serve again. Oh, wow. Yeah, I mean, okay. you, some guys have made it their career, but lately we changed a lot of rules, and, and they don't come back like they used to. <laughs> right. I mean, now everybody works real hard in there, and on, we write these reports at the end of the year. Okay. And then the reports are long hard and trying to write things up where you can't use a name right. and tell them or something. I mean, it's hard. I bet. Like, I want to tell a story on you without mentioning your name. That's hard. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> but wow. we are able to do it. Somehow, we do it for the years over. And you'll give us put out a book, probably it's about a half inch thick at the end of the year. Okay. That people get, comes out in all the fake newspapers. It come out by Say Times, okay. Fresno B, uh, the two Larry. Okay. All the big papers, it'll come out and in the newspapers form and have all our reports that we worked on okay. that year. Which so everybody will know exactly what the grand jury did and who's doing what and who's good and who's bad. <laughs> right, you know, right. It's all in there. We find out the facts. Awesome. If, you, if you read it in the deal, you know, the grand jury put it there, I can guarantee it it's truth. Awesome. Awesome. So when they can apply now. Right. Right now we're let's say we're recruiting right now. And when's the deadline? Uh, May. Is it May? Yeah. April. 18th. A April. Well, April eighteenth. April eighteenth. It's the last day you turn into the courthouse. Okay. And you still go maybe one or two days past that. Okay. If you call our house, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> where we're at, you know, not the okay. not the courthouse, but where our office is at, at the uh, government building. Awesome. So, Chuck, what would you like to mention to the viewers? What would you like to say to them? Uh, to get up, get off your couch, <laughs> you join the grand jury, make $25 a day. Hey! And extra money right? on gas, and hey, come there down you there go. and you'll win. Because gas is coming up. Yeah. And Might we, as well take advantage of it right now. Like I say, once you're on it, it, it gets in your blood. You'll want to do it over and over because of the power that the grand jury has. It's unbelievable. Things we can go and do mm -hmm. just because you're at the grand jury. Right, right. I mean, we can walk in offices where investigate people that nobody else can. Wow, that sounds very interesting. That is. Very, very interesting. That's why I call it like we're a CIA. <laughs> Everything's undercover. So there you go. If you want to be a CIA, make, was it 1200 a month? And, yeah, and then 1200 a month and 55 cents or 57 cents? 57 cents right 50, now. 57 cents a mile? I mean, you can't beat that, especially no. if you're not doing anything right now. Tulare County needs your support. They need your help. This is extremely, extremely important. It is. And so you can apply now, and you have till April 17th, or you can get a hold of a check, and they can work with you. But let's do this. I mean, we need, you know, we need to work together. Right. Without getting people to do that, you're letting your government run wild. Oh, we don't want to do that. They're doing that already. That's what we mainly do. We watch our government people. Okay. We're the watchdogs, you know, of our county. Okay. Like Tulare County's got one. Fresno has one. Right, right. Every county has a grand jury. Okay. And some are bigger than the others, and some got bigger budgets. <laughs> well, it all depends. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Chuck, for coming on to my show. And well, we, we will be back right after this. Don't go away. 